Hey guys, how we doing? Eric from Nomadic Fanatic. We got the old dual, dual camera set up here in Vanna White, the camper van, for the first time. And you might be able to see behind me, I got the uh, new rooftop air conditioner on the bed back there. And uh, sunny skies. Oh, we are out of Illinois now, and we're in Missouri. And I got to get all the way to the other side of Missouri today, almost into Kansas, in fact. And uh, we're putting on a good 450 miles today. So thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet, and there's a link below in the video description. You need some mobile unlimited internet. Let's go have some fun in the sun. I'm in a little better mood. It's beautiful here in Missouri. And I'm so glad that I decided to come back to the Ozarks. I tried it several months ago, as you guys remember. We did a lot of touristy stuff and they broke records for rain when I was here last. So I am thankful that I got a chance to come back. And it got me thinking because in my last video, I was really starting to lose it, guys. And I don't do that too often on my channel. I probably shouldn't have aired that video. I've watched it several times since. I'm like, eh, I shouldn't have shown that much emotion. But in order to be real with you guys, you have to understand how badly it affected me. Well, I got, I got to thinking, guys. I don't have to stay base camp. I can turn this little key and go anywhere I want. So I'm, I drove some 400 miles west and I found a beautiful free campsite in the Ozarks that I've never been to. And I uh, just can't stop smiling. Sunshine, it's warm, there's no rain at all. I mean, there's some indication that um, somebody had just left previously as this piece of wood still smoking there really really bad do not ever leave your fire unattended guys i'm just gonna roll that piece over so that the part that's still smoking is in the ash there hopefully that'll put it out only who can prevent forest fires you pressed you referring to me that is incorrect the correct answer is you i'll keep an eye on it though some nice campsites i don't know what the name of this river is but Ooh, it has crested recently. Look at this. The water's been up here recently. So, yeah, and it looks pretty dirty. We, we're we still dealing with some of the flooding that's been going on in the area, but like I said, it's nice now. Very nice, in fact. Nomadic Fanatic's in a good mood. The only other tricky part, and you know, a lot of people were telling me in my last video, why don't you just leave? Why do you why get to stay there? Well, the problem is I made two arrangements with friends. My solar guy is already en route to base camp right now as I make this video. So I can't even stay here for very long. Uh, I've, I'm hooking him up with, with uh, hookups at the house while he works on the solar and we do some other van projects. And then my other buddy, Sean, needs my help back in East Alton, Illinois also. When I make arrangements with friends, I can't just scoot on over and go west. I mean, I can and I am, but I'm, but I'm coming back to base camp soon for right now. I have been enjoying this. It has been, it has been really nice. About time, that's exactly what I needed. Just, whew, don't be eating your sister's kibbles. That's not what a good brusher does. I think Tara's still hiding under the seat over there. But yeah, this time here in the Ozarks, I'm not doing any of the touristy stuff. I've, I've just been kind of enjoying nature the last 24 hours. And I want to share a little bit with you about my attitude change that was much needed for all of us as I was bringing you guys right along with for all that. But anyways, let me get everything settled here. We'll get back on the road and hopefully get checked in over at Robert's base camp. Are you the TP hoarder? You got all my TP right there. Yeah, you do. Where's your sister? Oh, there's your widow sister. Is that her spot? What do you think about van life, Tara? Jax, man, what do you guys think? Need to know yet? You still thinking about it? All right. It's our first good test, guys. You guys are the best. Guys, you, man, you guys are the, you guys are the coolest cats ever. Like seriously. Oh my gosh. I love you both. You guys are crazy, but I love you both. All right. Who needs treats? You need treats? You need treats? You need treats? You need treats? Treats or treats? Treats? Okay. All right. Hey everyone. I'm here at Robert's Base Camp in uh, Missouri, Kansas City area. And actually, 
my van fits in his front driveway. You may remember last time I was here with Jason and Candace, we parked way over there in the pouring rain. So um, I'm plugged into power here at the house and uh, wanted to give you some updates here before we move on because in my very last video, remember how we were talking about the Himaway bike that was trying to drive itself off the carrier? Well, I reached out to the company and they sent me a reply and I wanted to share this information. They are going to send me a new display. They think there's a problem with the display, but at the end of this email, here's the key part. It says, by the way, please not let the bike out for raining and keep the motor display and battery away from raining. So it, it appears that this company may not be trying to compete with any of the more higher end bike companies and whatnot, but that bike is not waterproof. And I, again, the motor in the tire, the display and the battery cannot ever get wet. Now, to what extent can you drive through a puddle? <laughs> I mean, uh, can you leave it outside in the morning dew is on the battery compartment? I have no idea, but it's not compatible with my lifestyle because it rains a lot everywhere I go. Uh, so once I get the replacement uh, display board and I get that put on, the bike is not traveling with me. There's just no way to keep it dry with all this record setting rain that I tend to find on the road and it's just not practical. So uh, I'm moving on from e-bikes officially. So what are we gonna do, Eric? Well, well, Robert here got, got a little upgrade here. Look at this boy here. He got the Honda CB300F. Uh, that's at least an extra 50cc, which means Roxy the Rebel is still here, guys. We were going to sell her. I was going to sell her to Robert. Robert had talked about selling the bike for me while I was gone. And uh, things have just changed now, and I find myself thinking that maybe I should put this on the back of the van and it'd be a perfect little commuter bike. But um, I wanna do a uh, cold start here and see how she runs and uh, see if she is gonna give me a little better luck than all these e-bikes. Uh, give it a little bit of choke just in case. Well, he doesn't need it though. Just runs mint. I don't even think I needed to choke it. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to be here for a couple days while we work on a few things, including the air conditioner. We're going to fix a propane issue later. I missed Roxy the Rebel, though. That's awesome. Long story short, the propane feed to the water heater, which I been thinking the water heater's the problem. Uh, the uh, fridge that wouldn't stay lit. It would light the pilot, but wouldn't be able to have enough propane. Got me thinking, why don't we uh, trace some propane lines in the RV? And sure enough, all right, Robert's got the tire off there and he's pulling out this propane line so we can have our first peek at this section because there appears to be a kink. All right, Robert took off this half and uh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if the previous owners even realized what they did. We were thinking maybe they went over a sharp bump and then pushed up the springs and just kinked it right there because that's what, like only two inches away, right? That's a no, weird place for a propane here. line. Yeah, maybe three inches so, from yeah. the suspension. And uh, once they kinked that, all the propane that was down of the fridge, which would include the water heater, and that might be it actually. I guess it just goes back that way. But yeah, that is gonna be your problem. And I doubt the previous owners even knew about that. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to fix this, I guess. I just got back from a hose supplier and they built us a custom new hose with the flared fittings that we need for this. This is rated for like hydraulic and PSI, 2000 PSI. All right, new line is installed. I'm getting ready to turn on the propane once again and Robert's got his uh, soapy water so we can check for leaks just to make sure. Looking good on that end. Looking good over there. All right, Robert just said something's going on over here and I heard a sound that I have not heard since I've had this RV. We're gonna take a peek here. Oh my gosh. The water heater is heating water, y'all. Oh, that's a good feeling. Man, that is a good feeling. We're back in business. We can take our first shower tonight in the van. 
Pretty easy to find motorcycle parking in downtown KC. <laughs> They're all stretching Roxy's legs on the motorcycle. We came down here to Kansas City. We went down to uh, uh, his pool. He's got a little pool in his yard. We went to see that. We passed a mural. I want to go around the corner here real quick and see if this see if this mural is what I thought it was. It is a giant Mickey Mouse Sorcerer's Apprentice mural on the side of this brick building. That's awesome. Nice work, guys. Oh, what do we got here? I think we found a new arcade that we haven't been to in Kansas City. That's right, it's called Up Down Arcade. Hey, dollar off all local beer, I like that. Pretty cool place. Look at all these old school arcades. Tetris, Tron right there, Working Tron, Primal Rage, Bump and Jump. I've never heard of it, some of these. Look at this one, Kangaroo. Uh, okay, and I wanna jump over here real quick because they have a burger time. This is such a cool game. Almost as cool as Tapper. You make hamburgers. <laughs> How about four player Simpsons? That is a sweet looking arcade there. Oh, they got Maximum Force, Carnival shooting game, and Virtual Cop. Oh, and Alien. And there's some of their pinball machines there. Dig Dug and Outrun, Star Wars, Spider-Man, Kiss, and Attack from Mars. Bud Light when I was growing up in, in my arcades, but they got they got pizza and they got some really cool games in here. We're really having a good time. Good times in Kansas City. How did I miss the holy grail of arcades? Tapper, the Budweiser bow tie there, the greatest arcade ever, and they have it complete, original. And they even have the step to stand on. Oh, that is a beautiful sight. Let's get some. All right, had a blast at the arcade. We're back at base camp. Wanted to show you the new air conditioner is on the roof. It's actually working right now. Works great. It's a lot quieter than my other one. And you can see we got the motorcycle carrier put on. I got a brand new one. Yeah, so Robert wanted to keep the other one because he's going to be towing around uh, his motorcycle on the back of his. So I went ahead and, and uh, got a new one for me. The same exact company, that Black Widow 600 pound steel. This sucker weighs 100 pounds. It's got that long ramp that stores there. And uh, I'm sure that I'm going to have to figure out something else just like the e-bike in order to have some extra lights on the bottom here because I'm going to block these ones with the tires I believe. It is so nice to have a quiet running air conditioner. It's running right now. You guys hear how quiet it is? That's awesome. I didn't film any of like Robert actually installing the air conditioner because I had to help him a few times and he's more of the technical guy and by the way check out Robert's new YouTube channel there's a link in the video description below or up here if you're watching on your laptop King's Auto Shop he's got a new YouTube channel and he's got a new intro check this out Mark He's actually got some great content on there, guys. Check out his channel, subscribe to his channel, leave him a comment on his latest video and say thanks for helping out Eric. I uh, really appreciate his help. What's next? Well, I'll see you in two days. Bye guys, thanks for joining me.